Hello, I'm your friendly neighbourhood Bood and welcome to episode 42 of Stronger Together, my series with the mighty Team Valley. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Who doesn't love a thumbs up? I love a cheeky thumbs up. I do. Also, if you really want to help the channel out for as little as a pound a month, really, you can always become a patron. That is massively, massively appreciated. Or even halfway through the episode when an advert comes on, go make yourself a brew. It just helps me. And I do appreciate it. And I love you long time now big episode today it's going to be a double live coming the champions league it's going to be a long one for me because there's quite a few games in between the the european games so i'm gonna to have to play them offline and then come back for the second live com uh, i've got loads to get through are we still in all the cups are we still competing we've been doing pretty well i can't wait to share it with you so let's get into it so after the last live com which was awesome against Dortmund away. What a performance that was. Um, I had one game to play before the draw, so I'll share it with you now quickly against Everton. I do like Everton. A lot of love for this club. I've probably told you the story a million times. Uh, two goals. One near the start, one near the end from our Pedro. Um, got us the win and the three points. But then it was time for the draw and you saw all the teams. Quite a lot of big clubs really. But who did we get? I can't lie though. Pretty happy with this. We've drawn Porto. Could have been worse. This is a beatable club. Great club. Rich club. Um, who've had some decent results. They came second in Group E. Rangers came bottom. Sorry, Brian Kane. Captain Kano. He's a Rangers fan. Um, but I think they beat Barcelona in one game. So, you know, they've, they've got some skill. And at last, we have Grasso. Mr. Grasso is here. And even when he made his debut, it said the long-awaited debut has finally arrived. And... He's only played a couple of games and in both games he's made an impact. He's set one up, he's scored, um, he's made a sub appearance because he's getting his fitness and then he pissed off with the Argentinian under 23s for ages. Couldn't put him in the European squad, um, made room for him in the, the main team. So I've still got the same European squad basically that I've had anyway. So it's a bit of a loss but he can concentrate on the Prem hopefully and keep kicking on. So to make room for him, Jim Brennan's left. Now Jim's a good young uh, right back. He's not played a ton of games for us over the last two years and I've got Woods and Kamara who are just better than him. So I don't want to get rid of him just yet. We've loaned him out. I made sure I loaned him to a club that wanted him as either an important player or a regular starter. He had quite a lot of options to choose from and he's chose to go to Red Bull Salzburg. Um, so good luck to the kid. I mean, so yeah, I've took him out of the league squad and replaced him with Grasso. So I went into this episode um, after the Dortmund game fighting on all fronts. Very excited for this season um, and we started with the Caribbean Cup and we played West Brom. Our Jackson had the game of his life, the kid can just perform. He just doesn't look good on paper but the kid performs and uh, yeah, we won 5-1. We then beat Wolves away 2-1, giving a lot of guys a game here, Green always loving this competition, He's still moaning a little bit but I love him very much. Um, yeah, Andrade played behind the striker, he's been playing quite a bit doing a very good job. That's put us into the quarterfinals where I'm going to be facing Millwall who was 17th in the championship. No offence to them but even with a B team surely we've got a good chance here of getting to the semis so I mean I just want to go for everything. I want to try and win as many trophies as I can until this series finishes. Next it was on to the FA Cup and I think I showed you this didn't I? That we're going to be facing York and battered them. 3-0 Jackson and Fletcher. The brothers. The duo. Scoring, very happy with this. Because again, I want to win everything. Why not? Let's just go for the lot. Next up though, we got a little tougher. We faced Leicester and we drew 1-1 away. Plenty of opportunity to win. We didn't. Went to a replay, which we just about won. We battered him though. With a lot of guys who, you know, needed game time. Bit of, I'm mixing it up here though. I'm happy to now, but it's enjoyable. I just feel like I've got so much depth in this squad. It's very exciting to play. Gives me so much joy. But yeah, we should have won by a lot more. On to the fifth round, we face QPR and we beat QPR. 3-1, Larson, Jimenez and Fletcher getting us the goals. And again, another really, really good performance. And we're on to the sixth round. We're going to face Jurgen Klopp and his Arsenal team. Sounds weird saying that, doesn't it? They were fifth in the league. We've had some good results against these. We draw against them quite a lot. Good old boring, boring Arsenal who look like they just won the derby 1-0 against Spurs. They beat United, they beat Aston Villa, Everton, Wolves and Spurs. Bloody hell, they're on a good run there, aren't they? Over to the Premier League and we're sitting in fourth. I think we were fourth, were we? Last time, but I love it when the Premier League's like this. When there's a lot of good teams, loads of quality players and it's very, very competitive. I mean, we're only a point ahead of Arsenal. They're in fifth. 
We're level on points with Manchester City, who are still a freaking thorn in my side. You'll see why in a minute. Um, but we're not far off a the title there. We're not. It's not. There's no big gaps anywhere. It can go either way, and we've only lost two games. I mean, United have lost five. Chelsea have lost four. We've lost two, but we find ourselves in fourth. So it just shows you, doesn't it? We obviously draw games, I know. But it's very competitive. Loads of form. We've had loads of good results. It could, anything could happen with this. It's, it could be a very exciting run into the league. So here we are, reverse the dates. You can see why I mean City, the thorn in my side. Look at all that green and a splash of yellow. I will beat City. And again, I don't know. Do you know what? I don't care, actually, if this goes on for five years, five more seasons. I'm going to beat Man City. Hopefully we do it in a live con, all of us together, and we can all buzz off it together because it's going to happen. I know it will happen. Um, but yeah, they beat us after the Everton game. But then after that, we're in a really good run. We've beaten Birmingham 4-1. We beat Arsenal 3-1. So that's a good hope for us in the uh, in the Cup. Drew with West Brom. Uh, beat Newcastle 1-0. We beat Norwich 2-0. We beat Burnley 5-2 in a great game. Greeno in goal. Uh, Drew with Southampton, which is points dropped. Uh, and we've just beaten Chelsea 2-0 Chelsea what a game so if I go up here now you can see the running for the league tons of games left to play big games as well Arsenal, City um, Spurs United and Liverpool next and if I just have a little jig around with the fixtures da -da, there we go um, you can see the actual running now with the cups put in there so you'll see we're playing Porto today in the first live comp then I'm going to have to play four games off camera but luckily the wife's gone out on a walk with the kids. So I'm hoping I can get this done before they come back and start making loads of noise. So I'm going to have to play United Liverpool. Then it's Millwall. And then I've got Villa and then we'll come back for the second live comp. So yeah, lots to do. Here we go. Welcome to Porto. Great stadium, great facility. Obviously we're at the stage now where most teams are regen. So we have no idea really how good their players are. I ain't got their league running. Uh, I've gone with Contreras in goal. But I am going to give Greeno... The home leg. I'm definitely. And we're now away kit that I absolutely love. So here we go. They've kicked off. Hopefully we can get a good result here. I want some good games. want some good goals. want some action. But I want to comfortably get through here. I don't want to scrape our way through. I mean, I'd take maybe a draw here. And then just do a good job at home. Hopefully we can just batter them, really. That would be exciting. But they're a rich club. And, you know, there's a couple of teams in Portugal. They tend to get good players uh, on Football Manager. And here they come, early doors. Can we defend? We'll see. I'm excited though for the season. I've got no... Is it aspirations? Is that the word? To win the Champions League this year. It'd be nice to win it once before the series ends. It's domestically where we've got a little chance we could do all right in the league. And we've gone 1-0 down. Oliveira. Awesome. Well, that's not the star wide. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're doing great domestically. We've got a great chance of winning something. Maybe a Carabao or an FA Cup. We could maybe even nick a title. We'll see. I'd like to get far into this for our experience and the money. But yeah, you never know with this bloody team of mine. We've been on such a good run as well. I mean, we've dropped some silly points in the league. The City game as well was just frustrating. I felt like we could have done something there. Um, I have demanded more. Again, though, it's fitness with us. I don't know why, because I am rotating a lot. Guys are getting games. But yeah, uh, they're looking all green. They're looking fighting fit, aren't they? So on the day of filming this, it's Monday. I'm hoping I'm going to get it made and put out tonight. All the shops have reopened. And um, been stopped port of work this morning. I think every single person saw the Prime Army bag. And I thought Debenhams had closed down, and it's got a queue a mile long. What's wrong with these people? Just chill out. Right, come on. I put our Fletcher on up top. He's been sticking that ball in the net like a super sub. He's like the new Lee Masters, if you remember Lee Masters, um, from back in the day. We've also brought Ollie Bailey's on because Larson, for some reason, basically died. A highlight, and it says they're going to get another early goal in this half. No, come on. Here's Bosco. Had a really good season. He's had potential, but I was wondering, could he really step up this year? And I think at times, he's really stepped up until then. Well, Sometimes they make you look like an idiot, don't they? You're trying to big them up, thinking they might have a moment, and they just stop still and let the ball get taken off them. What was that? What footballer would just do that? Da -da 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 -da. Stop here. There you go. Take it off me. Thanks. Brilliant. Got a bit of footy by 
Porto, we do not need to be going, by the way. 2-0 down. Fucking hell. Right, I've made a managerial decision. I didn't really have anyone who could play there, so I put Pedro out there. He's an attacking midfielder striker. He's an attacker. Why would, would I want to put a left back on the right wing? Do you know what I mean? Anyway. It's not the greatest game, but 1-0, it's not too bad. Different story when I've got all you lot behind me. The Valley Boys. Hopefully. I right, fired them up. Try to stick a firecracker up their ass. Because we have been flat, boring shit. Seriously, once the cameras come on, these boys at the minute, they're pathetic. Apart from the last episode, that was quite good. We're approaching the end of the game, and it's that crap. We didn't even get an end of game highlight. Do you know what? If this was real life, I would give every single one of you travelling fans your money back. Because that was fucking awful. That was awful. That was awful. So Ford did a toss pot has revealed my fury. Boots fury. Sounds ferocious, doesn't it? Sounds like a movie where hopefully I'd be driving a tank. Now, I've got a ton of games to play, some tough games. Um, hopefully we can get some good results. United, Liverpool, Millwall and Villa. Come on the valley. I'll see you on the other side for the second leg. So here is a nice play with my ass on it. <sighs> I'm a Man United fan, but still. We ain't going to win the league, are we, if we're getting beat like this off teams in and around the top. Still a lot to learn with my young team, but yeah, gutted with this. This was a spanking, but it got better. Look at this for a thriller, eh? Look at this. They probably had the edge on us, to be fair. Uh, and even though at one point, we 3-1 up, they come back into it, obviously scoring a goal in the 91st minute. But what a victory against the Scousers, eh? Come on! And then in the third game we played in the league against Villa away, we won 3-1, but I gave loads of guys a game, um, which is fantastic. Buzzing with this result, because again, I don't know how we did it. Too early, Oli Bailey's goals, but I don't care. I took the risk because there's only two days in between this and the second leg. And then don't forget, we had a quarter-final in the Carabao Cups to play. We beat Millwall 2-0. We're into the semis! And who doesn't love a semi? Honestly, and um, so some games left to play, obviously. So we could get Brentford or Southampton. I mean, Liverpool or Chelsea, one of them's getting knocked out, so it could be Reading or Burnley. This could be our best chance ever, ever to win this. I know it's not the greatest cup in the world, but it just we haven't won it yet. It'd just be nice to try and get the full set, wouldn't it? A quick check on the league because, of course, we played three games and we're still fourth. We did drop down after we got beat off United. United went top for a little bit. Uh, they're back down into third. I mean, it's still close. It's very close, isn't it? Liverpool are slowly catchy-catching. Maybe with the Premier League titles out of our reach this year, but I've made a lot of changes then, and the team's still young. I think we could improve next year, get a full season out of Grasso. That would be pretty good. Um, as long as we get Champions League, we get that money, that'll be, that'll be something. But, you know, we de there's definite progression here, and I I'm loving it. Let's check in on the squad because we haven't looked at it yet. Um, I've arranged it by average rating. You can see a lot of the guys who were performing for me. And Ribeira, or Ribeira, the guy we had on loan for two years from Arsenal, spent big on him in the summer. He got injured, didn't he? I don't know if I talked about that. I might have edited that out. Um, he's slowly coming back from that injury. Massive injury. I think he did his cruciate, I think. Welcome to the Evolving Mindset Arena here in Bolton. Uh, I've given Green another game. I'm a man of my word, although he's the now the worst performer in training. He spat his dummy out. He's played a load of games as well. Um, he's just not the number one, and I think he's feeling it. I've, I've had a bid from Leeds for 15 million. I turned it down. Right, come on, Webbo, kicking us off here today in Bolton. Beautiful pitch. Need some... Freaking superstars to show up today. They have a good side. I mean, last game was a bit crap, wasn't it? Oh, go on. Good tackle, was it? Right, early corner. Come on, lads. Bosco, can we get an early goal? Settle the nerves. Nope. Right, we had sang it for a bit. Let's we all sing it together. Are you ready? One, two, three. We are the valley. We are. We travel near and far to watch the boys in white. Oh! Porto, you are shite. Come on. Come on. What do we need? Two goals. 2-0. Two we can do this. We can do it. Hopefully Greeno don't have a mare. I know he's a legend, but his training's been off the boil. He's not happy. He has played a good, good amount of games. Just not happy. He thinks he's number one. Always. But that kid's special. 
the goalkeeper. But I like that. I like having two keepers. It's good having two good keepers. That is Bosco. Come on. Need some magic. Thread it through. Or score a wonder goal. Where are you going? Passed it back to Larson. Larson. <gasps> Did he save that? He hit the bar. I think he saved it. But yeah, I think I've got to win something big before I end this series. Um, people put too much time into it. I've put too much time into it. You want to end it on a high. I think even if you end up with like 10 viewers, I think we need to work towards... One of the big two, don't we? Champions League or Premier League. I think both probably out of our reach this year, but I think we could do something. Why not? Oh, go on, go on, go on. Oh, go on, go on. Get on, oh, no! Whoa! Right, half an hour in, it's, I mean, they've not done anything. They've not turned up, have they? But we're not scoring. We're not scoring. Six shots, one on target. We need to take advantage of this. We do. But we look like the better team, but you need them goddamn freaking goals. We ain't got none. I've got an attack in for the last five minutes at first half, see if we can push them out with this. Nick a goal, that'd be good to go in half time with a cheeky little goal. Well, it's half time and it's nil nil, so it's, we've got freaking mountains to climb now. 45 minutes. We need 45 minutes of glorious football. I just don't feel like it's coming. I gave him a good old ass kick in. Let's see if it works. I do like that kit of theirs. It's got a bit of a Boca Juniors feel about it, hasn't it? Quite like that. Blue with yellow shorts, blue socks. Come on. This is going to be them. Balls in up and us getting on the break in it. Yeah, come on. Right, there's Bosco. Come on, Bosco. Come on, cutting right inside me, right winger. Pinging it out to Larson. Can Larson perform a little bit of magic? He's quite good. Not today. No, we can't. Right, I've demanded a little bit more. Make some changes soon, I think. See if we can spruce it up. Bring our Fletcher on. The fact that Webbo has got his full heart means he's either he's fit or he's done fuck all. Brought on the super sub that is my eldest son, Fletcher, who's desperate in real life for an air cut. Barber's open today. Not taking him yet. What the hell? Qs are everywhere. Right, yeah, I'll do that actually. Leon's is a bit tired, but wait, Bosco crosses it in. Come on, man, this game is so frustrating sometimes. Crappy freaking clearance gives it to Leon's, who will be coming off pretty soon. He's found last, who's kept it in. Back to Leon's, to McCulloch. McCulloch! Boom! You having that? We are the valley. We are. But Kamara looks dead now and all, doesn't he? Here he is, though, with a throw in. Back to him. Come on, mate. Come on. I know you're tired, but get that ball in the box. Go on, Fletcher. <gasps> the crossbar. The crossbar of doom. I'm getting a bit excited. Come on, Andrade. Come on, pick it up and be wise. Use your footballing brain. Let's give it McCulloch. To the new kid, I can never say his name at left back. Andrade finds my son. Can my son? No, he can. I still love you, little kid. Oh, we are trying. We are trying. Is Andrade in the box? Come on, come on, pick this back up, Woodsy. Gives it back to Andrade. He puts it straight back in. And he's gonna get it back again for a third time. Oh, and he's been brought down in the box. Referee, referee, fucking me. It was right in front of you, that ref. Yeah, his leg snapped. My God, you blind. Bastard. Right, Larson. Oh, come on. What was that? Right, Andrade again. He's having some gain today in the second half, but no, he's just tripped up. Anyway, Bosco's picked it up. He's found Fletcher. Back to Bosco. Come on, can somebody referee? Surely. Fucking do something. There you go. Do your job. Send him off. Ten men. Well, that free kick must have been shit because we didn't see it. <laughs> right, yeah, I'll do that. Actually, I haven't got anyone who can play it right back. I think Jefferson can cover there. Kamara is dead on his anus. Oh my god, come on, right. I'm going to uh, fire him up. Let's fire him up. Let's get him G'd up like I'm G'd up. I'm up for this, man. I'm up for it. Bosco, come on, Bosco. Chase after it. Let's wait for it to come to you. Get to it. Get to the ball, mate. Right, McCulloch's charging down the middle. He's trying to find Fletch. Fletcher, one on one. <laughs> oh, me boy. I love you. I fucking love you, son. Right, so. I've gone cautious, I've gone strikerless, I don't care. We've got three at the front, three in the middle, four at the back. Shut up, shop. Let's be wise, come on time. Come on time, tickety tickety tock. God, this is so exciting, I don't know why, but it is. Come on, come on. Come on, 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 come on. Fuck off, referee. Not giving me that penalty, I don't care anymore. That is what you call a job done, boys. In it. Right, well, I've gone on a day. Um, to get, try and get through some results there's still games to play and I don't think they're getting played till like next week and then the draws on the 19th it's a bit random this database isn't it 
Um, but obviously way through, Benfica have knocked into out, Valencia have knocked Club Bruges out, United have locked Milan out. But again, look at all the massive clubs there. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven massive clubs left and City. Hopefully PSG will do us a favour there, knock them bad boys out because can't beat them. Um, so yeah, Whew. breathe, man, come on. There we go, that is the end of another exciting instalment of the valley thank you as always for watching it the thumbs up subscribe if you're new become a patron you know you want to help support the channel massively appreciated tons of football still left to play carabao cup fa cup champions league premier league i don't know how i'm gonna do this season now i've never done more than four episodes in a season could i cram it all in i don't know it could be like cup final specials it could be fuck all special but this club is special in it eh I love that. I love it. Get involved in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Give me some predictions, actually, for all the competitions left. Can we pick up some silverware? And yeah, I'll just play it and we'll see how it all goes and I'll work some out and hopefully you're going to tune in and see what happens. But yeah, I hope you're happy. I hope you are safe. Don't go and queue at Primark yet. Queues are crazy. I'm booed. Bye-bye.